I watch that show every once in a while. I, I grew up watching it with my parents, my dad especially. My mom hated it. But did you ever see Columbo, the rumpled detective? I love that show. There's always a murder involved, and you see actually who does it right at the beginning. But it's generally a very wealthy person who does the murder. And they're murdering someone else who's wealthy, and most of the times it's for the inheritance. So they could get what the other person had. And Columbo always gets the guy, and he comes in with his rumpled raincoat and all that, and you think, oh, he's not going to get him, and he does. And you probably fall asleep 20 minutes into it, but that's how I, it is for me anyway. But I love that show. But the taking of an inheritance, the ripping it away from somebody else, that's how we think sometimes that we can get what is ours. Now, how does God see that? Does God hold on to what he has? Our God, as the psalm said, our God is the God of salvation. He is the only God that I know of that freely hands on everything he has. Do we know how good we have it? That we believe in a God and we have a God who freely hands on the kingdom to us. And how do we achieve it? How do we have that gift? And the first reading says it. If we are children of God, if we are children, then heirs. So automatically, because of our baptism, we are made heirs to, his, to the fortune that God has. We are made heirs of it. And we are made joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Okay, we receive the same thing Jesus does? Do we understand what that means? And if only we suffer with him, now there's the catch, we may also be glorified with him. Suffering. So this inheritance is earned if we suffer with him. Now that's good news, brothers and sisters, because that's something each one of us can do. Each one of us suffers in small ways, in big ways, by helping somebody else, by suffering our own aches and pains, debilitating in some cases. We have been given this inheritance, brothers and sisters, and all that is asked is if we suffer with him. And we will do so at this altar today as we undergo the death and resurrection of our Lord right here. We are witnesses to it, and we say amen when we receive him to the very fact that, yes, we will suffer with you, God. Yes, we will suffer with you, Jesus. And because we do, we will earn the inheritance given to us by our Savior. Do we know how good we have it? Praise be to God that we have a God who is the God of salvation. Please stand.